Hello. All right, guys. So I'm just going to explain some stuff to you about science and uh, the courses that you've got to take here at Da Vinci um, that, or that you choose to take and why we want you to fill out this survey that we sent out. So you're going to be filling out a survey today and we need you to do it so we know what science classes to offer and to cover. Okay, so you're gonna fill that out today and I'm gonna go through kind of the process that you complete as a student here uh, at Da Vinci Academy in terms of what science courses you take. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? So when you sign up to take courses here at Da Vinci, you take courses, um, obviously seventh grade science, right? Seventh grade science, eighth grade science, you do that. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated the farther you go into your high school career. If you get a teacher recommendation after eighth grade science, you move to biology, all right? If you um, follow the recommended path um, for science education, you're gonna go from eighth grade to earth science and then to biology, all right? So either way, you're gonna end up in biology in either ninth grade or 10th grade. From there, you have some options for your core classes. You need three credits, so three years of core in science to graduate from Da Vinci Academy, all right? So maybe you take earth science and then biology, then you've got to pick chemistry or physics, or you take biology and then chemistry, and then you can go to physics or vice versa, all right? You can also take AP courses at Da Vinci Academy, AP chemistry, AP biology. Both of those require chemistry as a prerequisite. You can also take AP physics, or AP environmental science, okay? Those require physics, or if you take chemistry, you can go to AP environmental science as well. So chemistry allows you to take three AP courses. Physics allows you to take two AP courses. There you go. This flow chart is in the slides that were shared with your flex teacher. So if you have questions, you can go through here, all right? You also are required to take um, another credit of science. So four in total. That can be AP courses, or you can go earth science, biology, chemistry, and physics. That covers all four. If you would rather not take chemistry, <coughs> I don't know why you wouldn't want to take chemistry, um, or if you don't want to take physics from glorious Mr. Souter, you need to take at least a full credit of electives. So if you only want to take three core classes in, in science, you need to take um, a full credit of electives. And most of these electives are half credit, so half a year. And you got options, okay? You got 12 options of science elective courses. Lots to learn about. Sports science, forensics, health science, medical terminology, meteorology, that's one and two, so you can get um, a full credit of meteorology, that's weather, okay? Um, biodiversity, which is a class that we will hopefully be offering next year um, about diversity of life, it's related to genetics, astronomy, not astrology, right? Anatomy, so what humans are made out of, botany, what plants are made out of, Zoology, what animals are made out of, or rather like lots about animals, right? Science of the news, what's going on in science these days, okay? Um, advancements, maybe some controversies, all right? And then genetics, how, you know, genes are passed down and so forth, okay? 12 courses, 12 options of science electives, all right? The um, AP courses, count as, as um, 
electives slash core, right? Really, you just need four credits of science. So you get to choose. The reason why we're giving you the survey is so that you can choose and we know what to teach, all right? One other topic that I wanna just quickly cover for you guys is the science cord, all right? So graduation cords, you know, you got your, your gown thingy and you've got your strangely square hat with the tassel. If you wanna be even more decked out, right? You get all, all the stuff that you earn in high school. There's a cord that's green and white, put it over your neck, it's like a rope. Um, hangs down here and, and it shows you shows everybody that you're like freaking cool and you took a bunch of science classes and you're like a smart nerd cool person so the requirements for that is as follows you've got to take biology physics chemistry so the three required core classes there okay so you can take earth science too, but you need to get these three at least as well. You need to be in an AP course. So AP Chem, AP Phys, AP Environmental Science, AP Biology. Those four, four options, you've got to pick at least one. You need to have a 3.3 GPA in your science classes. All right, so that is a, what is that? B plus, yeah, B plus average, all right? And then you have to do one of the following for a science study beyond the classroom. And that is STEM related clubs or activities. So that's rocketry, that's Envirothon, Green Dragons, robotics. Okay, so you need to be participating in those. You need to um, do a science fair um, project or the, and the, the Ritchie Science Fair at Weber State um, for at least a year. Or, so again, it's, it's one of these options, or do a, um, a senior capstone that's all about science, technology, engineering, or math. If you do those, then you earn extra honors as a graduate, showing that you have a science emphasis, um, which would look awesome on a resume, especially if you're applying to like University of Utah or maybe medical school or Utah State to be an engineer or something like that, okay? So hopefully that clears it up. There's this slideshow with all that information on there about the electives and everything. But that's science here at Da Vinci Academy. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two. You guys are awesome. Keep on being awesome. And we will carry on with your science education next year. Bye.